happening tonight? President Biden making a big announcement about the country's federal marijuana laws. WGN's Jenna Barnes is joining us live with all the details here. Jenna? Yeah, Ray and Micah, advocates are counting this as a big win, but they say there is still a lot of work left to do. Doing pretty well today. This is, uh, this is a long time coming. Peter Contos helps people convicted of marijuana crimes re-enter society and clear their records as the deputy director for the Cannabis Equity Illinois Coalition. We do a lot of work around repairing the harm from the war on drugs. And he says President Biden's move to pardon all prior federal offenses of simple possession of marijuana, urging governors to do the same in their states, will impact thousands of people. This is a definitely a step in the right direction. It, it, it shows us that the federal government recognizes the cannabis prohibition does not work. Too many lives have been upended because of our failed approach to marijuana. It's time that we right these wrongs. Biden is also directing the Department of Health and Human Services and the U.S. Attorney General to review how marijuana is scheduled under federal law. Right now, it's considered a Schedule 1, the same as heroin and LSD. Rescheduling would reduce or even eliminate criminal penalties for possession. Moving things that are off the schedule would transform our research opportunities. It would transform the, the business opportunities. Biden's announcement Thursday is an effort to fulfill a campaign promise two years in the making. But even some advocates fighting for reform did didn't see it coming. We definitely did not think that this uh, administration was going to make any kind of changes or any movement at all for us in the cannabis uh, industry. So to see this happen, it, it shows us that there is uh, something you know larger on the horizon. Governor J.B. Pritzker and Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox comparing the new federal changes to Illinois' 2019 Cannabis Regulation and Tax Act, which Pritzker says to date has helped the state pardon or expunge almost 800,000 convictions. In a statement, he says, we know too many black and brown people were disproportionately impacted by disparities in prosecution and conviction. I'm proud to have taken action, and I hope to see other states follow our lead. But advocates say that law and Biden's plan only address possession charges, and that means other marijuana convictions are still holding people back. From getting a job, from getting housing, from getting a professional license, like trying to become a barber or an esthetician, you can't do these things if you have a record. He's supporting clean slate legislation scheduled to be introduced next year that would clear someone's record as soon as they complete their sentence. Because if we fully believe in, in you know, second chances, then we need to back that up in policy. And right now, there's no timeline on when the schedule will be reviewed or when certificates of pardon will be available for those who qualify. We're live at Montrose Harbor tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Thank you, Jenna. The